these things down in. So we'll go on and start off with the team that is closest to us regionally. That would be the Tennessee Titans based over in Nashville. Uh, let's go ahead and and discuss exactly what's going on with them. The Titans, over under for the season right now. Regular season win total is 8.5. Uh, they need offensive line help. They needed edge, uh, edge rusher help. And they needed cornerback help. And this is what they ended up doing in the draft. I'll go on and do all, let's see, they had six picks in this draft. Uh, two seventh-round picks. They didn't have a fourth, and they didn't have a sixth. So, they drafted tackle Isaiah Wilson in the first round. That seemed like a bit of a reach, uh, but the guy is massive. He's gargantuan. He played on a great line at Georgia. I mean, we'll see what happens, right? So, who knows? Uh, round two, they got cornerback Christian Fulton, and I think that was an insane value pick. They got him at number 61. Fulton was considered a he was borderline. He, when yeah. cornerbacks were being taken like crazy, he was kind of the one cornerback that was falling. Yeah, it was it was really I surprising. I was screaming, why are safeties not going? And this guy was a was a cornerback that probably could have gone earlier than he did, but just didn't. Yeah, same. He he and Tra, yeah, excuse me, Trevon Diggs uh, both fell pretty yep. substantially, um, and and both of them had to go up against all the wide receivers in the SEC West and just the SEC in general. Yep. And I mean, they played <laughs> they played some insane wide receivers throughout the season. So yeah, oh, they yeah. got that, they got burned a few times, but no, yeah. Part, well, and he had to, he had the misfortune. I mean, he had to cover CD also in the in the playoff game. Um, it, it, this had to is, cover T Higgs in the in the in the in the in the, in the uh, play, uh, national championship final. game. Yeah, yeah, national championship game. Well, this yeah, will tell I mean, you. Pro Football Focus said Fulton was their 12th ranked prospect on the draft board and easily the number two cornerback. He owns the highest PFF coverage grade in the country over the past two seasons. He produced the nation's highest forced and completion rate, 30.5%. Uh, when he lined up on the outside, his ability to stick with his man, consistently force tight coverage and win at the catch point is as good as anyone. He was in the SEC receiver's hip pockets constantly. He will be the same way in the NFL. This was one of the biggest steals of the entire draft. I, I mean, I, yes. I think him and Diggs are a lot alike in the sense of, I mean, you said it, they they have some tape that makes them look bad. And while you could put a highlight reel up there that looks unbelievable, you could you could find where they went up against CD and Judy and in and, and Diggs case chase and these other guys and and find some plays where they got caught. Oh yeah. And it's just it's just one of those situations where, you know, when you go up against that caliber talent so often, you're gonna get you know, caught sometimes. Teams are teams are going to um, you know, let you fall. And, yeah. and that's just the way it, this is one of those situations where Bill Belichick would say, Don't tell me what the kid can't do, tell me what he can do. And and I think I think the Titans were looking at that. Yeah. So. Um, so they got a steal in Fulton. Then they had a bit of a reach uh when they went into round three, got running back Darrington Evans out of Appalachian State. Obviously, I'm a big Evans guy. I loved App State last year. I I've loved everything Evans has done there under Satterfield and under uh, Drinkwitz. It, he he was outstanding. Um, but still, you know, early third round or late third, whatever, pick number 93, uh, yeah. he, this was a bit of a reach for a running back at that point. And that's, you know, okay, I get it. Um, along with that, round number five, they got edge rusher Laurel Murchison out of NC State. Okay. Like, he was part of that massive defensive line that, uh, that, that, propelled NC State to a nine-win season just two years ago. Uh, he stuck around while everybody else went on to the NFL the year before and didn't have a great year last year, but you get him in round five. I mean, you know the, you know the guy's pretty good. And then in round seven, you got your flyers. You got quarterback Cole McDonald out of Hawaii, which I love. The guy's got a I massive really love arm. This pick. Uh, I really love this pick. I think this guy's got an electric arm. I think oh, yeah. he can play. I think he can play. He, he's, got, he's got a little Jameis in him. I'm James. okay with that because he is a young guy. He doesn't have to start immediately. Yeah, he ain't he's scared not to throw. Be the leader. He's not going to be the leader in that locker room. So those are those are two really important factors. Oh, 100. percent And then uh, the last pick they got cornerback Chris Jackson out of Marshall. Uh, I couldn't tell you the first thing about. Yeah, I was just Chris I was Marshall. just about to say uh, this is this is one of those picks where I like okay, maybe, they, maybe it's I'm fine. sure they did their homework. We did not. Yeah, 100. percent Uh, yeah. I mean, they, Pro Football Focus doesn't even have anything on him. Like that's, yeah. <laughs> that's no, he's, I was know. about to say no. He, he's not anywhere in their information either. So. He was he was the twelfth to last pick in the draft. So I mean, it, the the biggest one there, Cole McDonald, they got in the seventh round, uh, could end up being the backup quarterback possibly. I mean, he's got a massive arm, 
Uh, this is what Pro Football Focus said. Tennessee needed a backup quarterback. Titans got one of the biggest arms in the entire draft in Cole McDonald. Uh, he brings to the table elite athleticism for the position and decent accuracy. McDonald had nine completions of 40 or more yards in 2019, which led all FBS quarterbacks. And this dude didn't even play every game. Like, that's, that's crazy. I was about to say he got hurt early, remember? Yeah. No, he got benched. Uh, yeah, no, he got benched. Uh, it, like, in the game, middle of several games. Watched. Yeah. Uh, the big issue with McDonald was his ugly decision-making and Jameis-esque style of play. He ranked 18th in big-time throw rate and had the 12th worst turnover-worthy play rate at the same time. I now so I will tell you as much as I criticize see I get blanketed for for crushing Jameis for these things they weren't coached by the same people no his head coach is maybe the ultimate gambler I've ever seen my just I if there's Nick a Rolovich coach that for anybody finds, that doesn't know let her rip tater chip it was Rolovich okay 100 percent which he is and now when, taking when, over for Leach when at you Washington have a State. coach that's telling you hey man let, let let's go let, let's fit that ball in there, and let's see if we could do this thing. He, I, I almost give the kid a little bit of a pass on some of those. Now, some of those games, when you got three or four of them in one game, all right, at some point in time, you got to rail it back in. But, yeah, and that that's why the freshman got to come in and play a little bit. But, that's right, that's right. But, yeah, otherwise, like I, the guy's got a massive arm. I mean, he can he can sling it, um, but he, he can also sling it to the wrong team. I mean, he takes a lot of risks. And, and in the NFL, that's boom or bust, man, that – who knows? But they got time to develop him. They got Tannehill to a massive contract. Uh, you can bring this guy in and and possibly turn him into your backup. And we'll the see Tannehill deal's only a two year deal though. Wait, to what? The Tannehill deal's only a two year deal, isn't it? No, 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 no. It's a, it was like a hundred and thirty some odd million dollars. Like it yeah, was, but I don't was, think I, I think I think only the first two years are guaranteed, man. Uh, maybe okay, so maybe the first two years were guaranteed, but it was like sixty something million guaranteed. Uh, I don't for care the first about any of that stuff. And then Hang after that. 